Well, hello everyone. Good evening. It's Brian and Carol. All right. It's Wednesday night. It's Wednesday night techniques at Craft Fancy. I want to welcome everyone that's joining me right now. We are coming live on the three sites tonight, all at the same time. So it's uh it's gonna be kind of exciting. And the best part is is I have me on the computer side, Carol's on the demo side tonight, so and there's no timeline. So we're gonna have a great time. Sorry, I keep looking at our screen. Bad habits are hard to break, so yes. Uh, so it's I like want to. So let's well, go ahead, and I want to welcome people. So on that craft fancy side, I got uh, Lee joining us on craft fancy. Uh, Connie Bartish. Hi, Connie. Uh, She's a local. First live for me, yes. so that's her. Wendy Little's on there from Idaho. Hi, Laura Hood is joining us as well on the on the uh, oh on the Oak one side? of a kind side because okay. we're going live on one of a kind tonight as well. The one of a kind group. Uh, so we decided. We always been asking vendors if they wanted to call, go live, and no one's ever going live. So I was like, you know what? It's time. We're going to start going live. So if other vendors are watching and you do participate in the shows, by all means, come out and uh, do it as well. So, yep. But the one-of-a-kind group, we got some people hanging out there tonight, too. Uh, Deborah's out there. Deborah's uh, Salaman saying good evening, Brian. Good evening, Deborah. I got Susan Smith saying happy Wednesday to you both. Thank you, Susan. Yep. Kathy Wolverteen's out there saying hi, Brian and Carol. Hi, Kathy. Uh, Mary Fischelberg is saying hi. Valerie Brown from Hershey, Pennsylvania. Are you getting ready for us, Valerie? Getting, come, getting ready. Lancaster show is coming up not that far away. And then uh, Anita Christensen Coons is uh, coming in from Idaho. And then uh, we got Amy LaForge Hart saying, what, what are you doing? Well, we're doing a Wednesday night technique, and we're doing it on three sites. So we're doing it on the uh, Facebook for Craft Fancy. We're going to be doing it on uh, on uh, the One of a Kind group. And YouTube. And YouTube for the One of a Kind shows. So, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to do some demos and talk about some stuff. Just kind of goofing around tonight. Uh, Michelle Hidreth is out there saying hi, Brian Carroll. And then uh, I got Robin Michard saying hi, guys. All right. How's, oh, Lee's asking us those questions right away, uh, saying, how's the smoke down there? It stinks. I it's, can smell uh, it. It's, it is. So anyone that's not in the Midwest area, so those Canadian wildfires are uh, smoking up and they're all coming down, and, that, and it's been pretty hazy here the last couple of days. Yeah. It's been really bad. It's uh, You walk out, you can maybe see half mile down the road, and everything starts to smell like smoke and barbecuing and and all that stuff. So it's not been very pleasant. So yeah, uh, it's coming down from you know northern what northern part of the state, New York. I think New York got a got a lot. Well, the wind shifted. Now yeah. it's coming right down, right like down north. Okay. Because of the northerly winds. All right, guys. So I got a couple people watching us, and so I, I thought maybe we would uh, kind of just start diving in. Okay. Uh, and again, I got so if anyone's out there on YouTube watching as well, so guys, don't be afraid. Ask questions. That's why we're here. There's no timeline tonight. Uh, we're going to just kind of kick it off. I used to do this. I fell off the train, and now we're going to get back onto it. So I want to start doing these on Wednesday nights, just hanging out with you guys. So let me know what you guys are thinking. If Wednesdays are a quick good night for you guys, and I always try to get on a little before uh, before we get off. Prime time. Uh, so we can be off for prime time TV. Everyone knows that. Mary Johnson is uh, joining us as well. So good evening, Mary, on the Craft Fancy page. All right. So, Carol, what uh, what were we going to talk about tonight? We're going to talk about the misty sticky mats, and which is a big thank which, you to Laura Hood. Laura Hood, this is coming from Laura Hood. Sticky These, mat. This is the mini. This is the medium. So, um, uh, each package has three sheets. So, three sheets, three sheets. Just open one of them up. You know, I'll open this one. Now. This is a easier. Um, well, you're opening those up. We did say it's a great day and time for her. So that's, all right. That's so good. it comes in three sheets. So this, each one has different grid um, measurements. So this is like, I think this one is like one eighth of an inch, and this one is like quarter of an inch. Can't see it. Quarter of an inch, and this one is like maybe a little bit bigger than four, half. Little, little you know, a little smaller than half, but bigger than four. So it's kind of in between. So it comes in three sheets, and each sheet it's sticky on only one side, okay? So the back side, it's not sticky. 
the front side there's a little film up here you could peel off and this is a sticky side and you could use the sticky mat um, inside your misty or you could just use it by itself so I'm going to do a couple things that I could use it inside the misty and one of them just right outside so then um, it's not like it's a requirement to have a misty to use a sticky mat question yeah, by the way, I just uh, we kind of we kind of jumped ahead while you're opening those up right now. Uh, I do want to let everyone know. So it is a technique based uh, event tonight. So we're not really going to get into cards or making a project right. tonight per se. Everything could always change, you know, as we do different Wednesdays. But tonight we're just going to be doing a little demo in. We're going to probably goof around, maybe show you a couple of new things. Maybe even talk about an upcoming sale or something. Just the 4th weekend, if, yeah. If they want it or something. I don't know. It's 4th of July weekend. I'm sure no one's shopping this weekend. I'm so. going to remove my uh, glasses because I don't really need it, but I'm going to pull it out of the way. So, you know how sometimes when you are stamping a larger image than your card and your magnet is in the way, right? So, I have a background stamp. I have a background stamp right here. It's a clean stamp. And this is the image of what it looks like. So how would you stamp this? How would you stamp this on a misty when you want to make sure that the entire surface has ink, right? So one thing you can do is um you could get a bigger sheet of paper, wrap the whole thing and use a magnet, but if you don't want to waste all your supplies and you want to just stamp this is an A2 size card. If you just want to stamp this, if that's the background you're using, if you just want to stamp this part, how would you stamp this on the same size, almost the same size of stamp, on your Misty? Um, especially the background stamps, you know how sometimes when you don't ink enough in the middle, you want to go through it again, but if you don't use a Misty, you can't really stamp at the same spot twice. So what the sticky mat is going to help is, I already have one open. This is the one I just I opened up. And it is sticky on the top side. And I'm not I'm not um, using the magnets at all. So, so I'm just basically putting the sticky mat inside the misty. Let me get a little piece of tape. Pick it up. Okay. Just I'm just kinda We're gonna let's just do a timeout really quick here. Hold on, hold on, because someone someone mentioned something. So uh, I'm just looking at the boards really quick here as we're as you were talking here. So uh, Judy Overholt Wheeler is saying that there's no sound. Make sure that you click on your sound bar so you can you can turn us up. So a lot of times on YouTube or Facebook videos, uh, what happens is uh, they mute you automatically. They mute you automatically, and then you gotta raise the volume. So raise that volume up. Uh, freaked me out a little. Thank you for Kelly uh, Randolph for jumping in there saying I can hear you fine. Started scaring me, and then Amy came in there as well. So and then also too, let's welcome. Uh, Penny Belaylark is out there, and then uh, Amy Sagner is out there. She said she'd come shop for the sale for sure if there was a sale. So, and then Shannon Byrus is out there. So, all right. So let's get back to your. So let's get back to your um, here's my here's my oversized stamp that I'm trying to stamp on this cardstock here. Okay. So what I'm doing is it is a sticky side. So I'm gonna put this onto the sticky mat. Putting it on there, and it's not moving. It's just not. It's, it sticks to it. And now I'm going to just put my stamps down, face down. While she's lining that up, I want to welcome a lot of people that are just joining us. This is the Wednesday night technique uh, class with Craft Fancy. It's not really a class. They were just doing some techniques. We're just playing with Misty. And tonight's uh, demo is a sticky mat with Misty. Bonus points for anyone that can say what Misty stands for. All right, Carol, back Okay, here. so now I'm going to just close. I have the old one, so I have to, I'm just going to close the door. Pick up the stamp. Okay? And my paper is still in place because it is a sticky mat. And I'm just going to use some black ink to ink the background. Ink the background stamp. And if you don't get ink on your um, sticky mat, just use water. Wipe it off. There's the first pass, right? You can see some spots not, not stamped up. So now I'm going to go another layer. 
and the, the card stock is still on the sticky mat, not moving. If you're not sure, you can always put a magnet on your um, sticky mat, but I'm not doing it. So this is the second pass. So it looks, it, it, you know, it does help if you're trying to work on an oversized image or you're just trying to do a partial stamping. Oh, Ken Oliver's in the house tonight. Hi, Ken. And then, um, so all you have to do is curl the sticky mat back. And you could just pull up your card that I just stamped. Well, we got a lot of people. They know it. They know it. Penny, Penny Clark knows it. Uh, and then we got uh, most incredible stamping tool invented. Okay. Yep. So we, we got a couple people out okay. there that know it. So. And then if I check the back side of the card that I just pulled out, there's nothing ripped off of it. It's not sticky. There's no residual um, sticky stuff on the back. Um, so that was one way you can use a sticky mat to do. All right. So this is the one thing we are going to, that we accomplished. All right. I'm going to put it back here. So, that I... so beautiful and so foolproof. Laura Hood says. Yep. Oh, Connie Bartech came back with the two saying most incredible stamping tool invented. All right. So the second thing we're going to do is we're going to use it without the Misty. We're going to just Wait, use what? I thought you had to use those with the Misty. You don't have to. Oh, my God. You could use it with – well, you could use a second that without the Misty. So here's my – So hold on a second here. So let's just – again, I, I – because – Here's our problem all the time. Carol likes to just, she gets in demo mode and likes to go through it and just rush through it. And, I'm not and rushing. It's too slow. You talk fast. <laughs> I do? Do I you, talk fast? You talk fast. You talk fast. I so, Actually, I don't talk fast. I talk even faster than a normal mode. So our first one was the recap is that we used the Misty mat and we were able to use it in the, in the Misty. Now, some of us, there's a lot of people out there, believe it or not, that don't have Misty's at home, but they are looking for different techniques. So if this is an opportunity that you don't have a misty, but you're looking to be able to use something, then uh, then you'll be able to do this. So who got the question out there? All right. So uh, Kathy Kemp is asking us a question. So question: If you know, I saw an ad in one of those magazines from the UK about Sizzix selling what looks like the old stamping up stamp platform. Several companies were shut down for infringement on misty. Are Misty Sizzix same company? I love that sticky thing. They're not the same company. Um, I think, don't quote me on this, I believe you could buy the other stamping tool with when you're not in the U.S. The, okay, so from what I understood is there's a patent on the Misty. And I'm not sure if, there is some, if, if there's a, such a thing called international patent. Um, Talked to a few lawyers, and they told me there is no such thing. But I'm not a lawyer, so don't quote me on it. I believe you could still get the other tools on online on Amazon outside of the U.S. in Canada. Um, I don't know. That's questions I don't know. I know that they are selling something similar, but I'm not. I have not used them because we're not. We're not. We weren't able to get these in the states, so I really don't have a way to test it. But they are not the same company. So Misty and Sizzix is two different companies. So, um, so that's kind of that, right? That's it. I hope that kind of answers your question there. And, uh, yep, uh, Kathy came, came back again and said, thank you. It, will this sticky thing work in old Tim Holtz platforms? It, it will work. Um, the, only, the only issue you might run into is because the, the grid is built. For the Misty, so it fits right in that work surface, and the Tim Holtz platform is bigger. It's eight, I think it's eight and a half by eight and a half, or um, eight by eight. I can remember. Um, so if you put it into the Tim Holtz platform, you will need a magnet to hold the sticky mat down because the backside is not sticky, and or you need like you know washi tape or purple tape to just hold it down because if once you put it in here. It doesn't move. It's it's made for this tool. Yeah. So uh, Penny Clark made a good point as well that she came back and said Tim Holtz and Stamping Up stopped selling yep. theirs. Yep. Because because they are within the U.S. There is a um, copyright infringement going on, and 
um, you know, sometimes you got to look at how much money can you fight for a lawsuit or how much money you're going to spend when it's not even, you know, it's a battle that you don't want to go. Sue Black is asking, how long does it stay sticky? It's, it, it stays sticky. And if you don't, if, if the stickiness wears off, you can always spray um, um, temporary adhesive like uh, pixie spray. The pixie spray, yep. yes. Pixie spray will help to add the temporary adhesive back onto the sticky mat. Right, right. But don't put too much. Don't put too much. Because but you when get, you could feel when it's... Because then you get sticky. Yes. Break. Sticky. Okay, so we're going to do the second demo okay. with the sticky mat. But I'm not going to use it inside the, the Missy. I'm going to just use it by itself. While you're doing that, uh, we have Jane Bulalia that uh, came in and she's saying, Hi, Brian and Carol. Fun to watch the live. Excited to receive the Ot Light today. Awesome. Appreciate Oak and the great prizes. Thanks again. Yep, those are for people that are in the one of a kind group. We had door prizes with our last event this weekend. Yep. And prizes go out right away. The little, uh, the hand does the job. He pulls the, the name elf and, the elf, them. and the elf ship them. So yes. congratulations, Jane. I, I really do. Hey, Jane. I know the hand brightened up your day. Huh? How about that? The brand brightened up your day. Get it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. All right. All right. So second technique, we're going to use a stick mat with its stencil. So when you know how sometimes when you're stenciling, like this is your card, for example, just, you know, for example, you're going to put your stencil down. You either spray your, your um, pixie spray onto the backside to hold it on the card or you use your washi tape. Guess what? It's sticky. So all you have to do is line up your stencil onto your cart. Take it down. While you're lining that up, Kathy Wolverton is asking, I might have missed this. Is it the one to a pack? It's three to a pack. And what is the price? Um, the medium is three to a pack. It's fourteen fifty. The mini is three to a pack as well. It's nine fifty. Yep. So here, I got the, the stencil on here, and it's not coming off. It's not sticky. They won't come off. But it's enough stickiness to keep the stencil onto the card. And I'm going to do the sun just so then you can see. I don't know. Where's my ink? Oh, are you disappearing? I, I'm just going to pull from it. I got the All right. Well, while she's just running to go get the ink really quick. And then uh, I just want to, again, thank everyone for tuning in tonight. Uh, again, we got some we got some decent viewers. I was surprised for a Wednesday evening. Uh, so also, too, is and thank you so much for all the questions. I, we love questions. This is why we're doing it. Uh, as a presenter, as we sit here and try to present, the hardest thing is when we present something and, and we don't hear anything. So uh, these demos are great because that gives you time to ask us all the questions. Holy cow, we got a YouTuber on. Oh Shaw God. Pack is in the, in the house. Right. Shaw Pack is on the, on the tube for a short bit. Welcome, Shaw Pack, on YouTube. And again, Welcome, everyone. Again, if you're just joining me a little late because I see people popping in and out, uh, we are the Craft Fancy team tonight. We are doing the Wednesday Night Technique, which is the Misty Sticky Original Mats. We're just doing some demos. No projects, no cards, just a little uh, just a little demo. And we came out to hang out with you guys on Wednesday night. And I always like to make sure we're in and out of here before primetime TV starts. Yep. So, so I got the stencil down onto my card base. I, I'm just, since I got other piece, other spot that's open, I'm just going to put this over it in case I go over, in case I get my ink onto the area that I don't want it to be yellow. So I'm just going to, and I'm just holding down the bottom part so then it's not like I'm using, you know. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh -oh, Jane. Jane's coming back. Uh, I remember this. Uh, Jane Jane said, I did caress the hand in person at the mega meet. I guess it worked. Oh, so really? that was yeah, that was the one that, that came and uh, touched the hand. Special, special hand. So uh, congratulations, Jane. I guess it did work, huh? So that goes out to anyone else listening. So if you see me at the show, be sure to take a picture with the hand. <laughs> oh, that was the picture, I remember. Yeah, that was the picture, yes. So uh, that was good. Oh, we got South Carolina house. Uh, Shelly's coming in there. We got uh, Gold Coast, Australia. Natalie uh, Hurton. Welcome, uh, Natalie. Uh, Ned, Nadia. N-A-D-I-A. Nadia, right? Nadia. 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 Thank you. Sorry. Welcome. 
Australia's in the house. So All right. congratulations. So I did the sun and I'm gonna add the little palm tree. Um, Shaw Pack says hi, Miss Carol and Brian. That hand did not do much for me on Saturday. Oh, I'm sorry. It's, it's the way the hand goes sometimes. So I'm just going to go right under the sticky mat again. I'm going to use a different ink. So I'm going to do a palm tree. So I add some green. And, um, and tonight we're using uh, Distress Oxides. And we're using lawn. the green is mowed lawn. Mowed yep. lawn for anyone that would care to play along at home. Or you could always um, play after. I was playing with this last night. So. Laura Olson's joining us from Glenview, Illinois. Hi, Welcome, Laura. Laura. Happens to be our hometown as well. Yep. Um, and I used the little one because I don't want to do a big movement and get the ink onto the other spot. Now you're using your blending brush, but you could use the, the newer one too. I could one use too. this little one too, yeah. I just happened to have them. Yep. And then I'm adding the tree. And then, oh, yeah, just wait. point out what we were talking about so everyone knows what oh. the little one is. The little ones are the these little... Um, the the Craft Fancy, the mini, craft fancy brush. mini blending brushes. For the little area, like like if you want to do these little, this little spot there, it, it just seems easier. And then I'm going to add some pop. I'm just going to do the branch. The trunk of the tree. Laura Hood's asking a question. After using, do you put the protector sheet back on the sticky mat? Yes, I do because if I'm not going to use it again, I don't want to just let it hang around, stop picking up dirt and dust or whatever, little pieces of paper and stuff. So I do put it back. And then Sue Black's making those comments uh, saying, are you kidding? The hand brightened up my year at the last Oak Prize drawing. I know. She was lucky. Yes. And I'm just using a gather twigs for the trunk. So it does keep, keep the stencil on the cart pretty well. It doesn't move much. Which one is this one now? We're using, I'm uh, using gathered twigs. Gathered twigs. I always wonder. So my question would always be: I know this sounds a little crazy, but my question would be is, how do you come up with these names for the inks? Know, Everyone's got crazy names for inks. Always wonder how do you come up with that? Well, that's a trick. So pretty much. Whoop! Wrong screen. Pretty much. Um, it's like I said. It's pretty easy to stick it on there. You know, you stick it on there, and it pretty much doesn't 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 go anywhere. You know, I just put it on the spot, and it doesn't come off. So, pretty good. So th th that's a, a second way to use your sticky mat without using the misty. All right. All right. That's so this is a two. second way. While you're cleaning up there, I'm gonna just kind of jump yep. on this dry screen real quick. So here's my question for everybody now is out there. So obviously we're going to be coming back with Thursday nights or Wednesday Wednesday nights. nights. Wednesday nights. Uh, I like the six o'clock hour. I think everyone else kind of does it too because I can see we actually got some viewers. And my question to you is what do you guys want to see demo? Let us let us know what you like to see. Um, I have a whole store we can rip apart. You know, like what do, what do you like to see? What do you want to see how what things works? What are some of the new stuff? What are, you know, whatever you guys could Give us some ideas, and we'll we'll show you. We'll, we'll work on the we'll work we'll add Definitely. to the schedule. Definitely, it's it's pretty easy stuff. We we're more than open to do it, and uh, we need stuff. We need ideas. So guys, if you just throw some stuff out there, uh, go ahead. We might not be the best at it, but we're definitely gonna do it because, like I said, when it's not the best, is some people are scrapbookers, some people are card makers, right. some people use Copic, some people don't, some people yep. color. So we try to do the best for everyone and bring, bring the knowledge to you guys. Carol, we got one more for us? One more. One more. We're going to use the Misty. We're going to stamp a sentiment. So I'm just pulling up the Cry Fancy stamps, right? So you know how you have a sentiment stamp and a matching dies. And you always have problems stamping it 
just right with a bright border image and you know die cutting it afterward you, you want to make sure that it's it, you're stamping you don't want to be off by too much or you know too much to the right too much to the left right so here is what i could use the sticky mat for a little linda lenders lenders from uh, north idaho thank you for joining us tonight so i have pre i'm going to use the congratulations name which i already got the stamps out I pre-cut the congratulation die right there on a just on a on a piece of paper as as my guide, okay? And now I'm going to map, not map, like line up the I'm gonna stamp it on this piece of paper and I'm gonna put it down first I'm gonna put it down the on the sticky map first. And now I'm just going to lay it down on the sticky mat so now it's straight because the guy, the line on the bottom tells me that it's straight. And now I'm going to just put my die cut guide of the congratulations stamp onto here, yeah, onto the sticky mat. Lee is telling us I love the technique the best, especially with your sediment stamps and guides. Yep. And that's what we are using tonight is this, the Craft Fancy yep. ones. Oh, it's backwards. No, it's not. Is it backwards? Technical error. This one. Technical problem. No, it's, I'm trying to read it and it's this way. <laughs> Has that ever happened to anybody else? It's like, I can't read the, the, the background. I'm going to move it down a little bit. Um. So I got Kathy Kemp asking, any updates on staying where you are or potentially moving and the travel book kit you had at the counter during the garage sale? Is that back in stock? I couldn't it find it online. It should be back in stock, hopefully by Friday. We got the, um, we got the paper, we got the tracking and it's coming either supposed to be coming today but it's it didn't show up so it should be here tomorrow and the latest friday so i i put the guy down right in front of my image that i'm stamping so i'm gonna put the stamp right on it so so if you have a if you cut the die first it's kind of like a guy you could map where you're stamping so I'm just gonna pick it up with a misty. Still, I'm not using any magnets or nothing. I'm using a black ink. Good evening, Lynn Mann, joining us. And then also, too, is uh, Charlotte uh, Blackney, Blinkney, coming in from Marysville, Washington. So look at it. So I don't know if you can see. I can. You want me to try to zoom it in? I can zoom it in a little. You can see it. You can see it. I can see it. All right, if you can see so it. So you can see enough. you can see the stamped image right underneath the guide um, opening of the dies. So it's perfectly it's perfectly centered. And then if you want to, if you want to, I mean, I I did cut it a little smaller. If this is your card base; it's already perfectly centered. And if you want to cut out that sentiment, you can actually pull both of these out. Put your die on top of, of put your die on top of this opening. Put a piece of washi tape over it, and then run it through the die cut machine. All right. I don't know if I confuse you more, but so that's perfectly stamped center with the guy on top. And again, it's without using the mist. So this is the three technique that we we just show you using the using the um, misty sticky mat. Yep. Uh, Connie, we'll bring that up in a little bit. Uh, Connie's asking if we could talk about the garage sale. The garage sale. So, do you, you want to talk about it now? We could talk about it. So, the sign up started on Monday. Um, usually, we. What is the garage sale, first of all? The garage first. sale is a way for all the crafters out there that to purge their supplies 
tools, supplies, scrapbooking, magazines, anything that's craft related, glue, stamps, dye. Um, if you have a lot of stuff and you need to, you need to purge, right? You need to clean your room. It's like your closet. You got too much clothes, stuff that you don't use, something you don't wear, you donate it or you do a garage sale in your own garage at home. So the, the crafting garage sales is about, you, you try to, people try to sell their gently used or brand new um, crafting supplies. And our registration started on Monday. I think we're almost not sold out. We had a few more spots still left, like just under five. Um, it's $8 for you to participate. You could bring as much as you want. You could bring as little as you want. It's up to you. And it's going to be on July 31st till August 2nd with the drop off being on Sunday, July 30th. And you come in and you sign a contract. You, when you submitted your contract, you have to agree the guideline, the terms, when there's a drop off day, when is the pickup day, and you're going to get your gift card, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, um, and I lost my thought. No, it's, it's real simple. So you get a special number, you get yep. the number, you write your price, whatever you want to sell it for. Right. So say I want to sell this one brush for a dollar, I'm going to put a sticker on there with my name. You, no, you want to bag it. Well, you bag it. Yeah. I'm just trying to talk okay. in general. So you put a sticker on there and put a bag on it with a sticker on it with your number. With that's your assigned. number. It's a number that's assigned at the beginning. And then you put whatever price you want on there. You could sell it for $10, but we know no one's going to buy it for $10. And the point of a garage sale is to sell something. So put it on there to sell. And then what happens is someone on the day then that the events that open up, that like Carol said, they come, people shop, pick up your stuff, stand in line. And then when we ring it up, it ring, ring up your, your number, number and, and the price. price. And then uh, what happens is about two weeks after that, after you sell it, you do get a crap antique gift card. Gift card. So then you can redeem for future purchases. And, right. And Classes, antique. purchases, um, kits. We don't take anything from the gift card. We don't take like a percentage of your sales. So like some places take... 15%, 20%, 25%. Yes. What? So oh. we don't take percentage out, out of your gift um, card. We take we just charge you the $8 for your spot so that we have to, you know, keep the room open for the four days. Plus we clean up after you. I, I thought we take a percent. We don't take a percent. Thought, and we clean up after afterward on Wednesday night. So we're here, you know, pretty late. Brian knows, you know, 9, 10 o'clock. <laughs> right, right. We clean everything up. Um, So it's just a little, you know. A little charge for us to do all of that and you don't have to be present to sell we you know the number actually is what we will be using to tally up your total um and you just get a report at the end of the garage sales and your gift card and it's on the uh, craft fancy gift card and if you want to use your gift card online we could convert a portion of it to online a portion of it to store it's up to you what you want to do what you do i, I don't know but stop Okay, we're so we're we're cool. We're cool. Okay, and then um, and that's it. It gets busy. It gets crazy. So, yeah, I'm sorry. I just one of my one of my windows locked up. Got locked up. Yeah, yeah I guess so, you can see it's stuck. Yeah. So, other right. than that, that should be it. That was the garage sale. Let's see what else we got here. What else cooking? You are so generous to host the garage sale. Yeah, we are, aren't we? My gosh, that's I can't believe we give it away. Give prizes away, we give spots away, so we got that. Uh, techniques, guys, I didn't see anyone messaging any ideas about the uh, just post it if you want, just post it, put a comment on the on the video on tonight, the, yeah, on the craft fancy side, just on come the, back on either side, yeah, yeah, just yeah, yeah, whatever. And then whatever we'll look for your comment if we see anything. If we don't, if we don't, we'll come up with something else next week, right? Right? Well, yeah, well, we got tons of stuff. Uh, shop X on YouTube is downloads. Uh, we don't have a scrapbook store around Oak Valley, Illinois. Well, the good news is is you can bring it right up. So, um, you can, you Ooh, can come Copic markers. Right. That's Kathy's. That's Kathy's. Uh... Yeah, yeah. That's we can get Kathy back on. Kathy hasn't been on on, on for a long time. We need right. to get her. So, uh, Lee's saying thank you. It's awesome. Uh, she does. So does it cost anything to come shop at nope. the garage sale? No, just whatever you buy. There's no, there's no fee or, right. but that's good. I'm glad that you said that. So maybe I should think about putting a fee on there for people. No, to come in. we, we want you to come shop because the more you guys buy, the less you have to clean up. Yeah. <laughs> Brian knows that. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, we're here late sometimes. Uh, that's a lot of work for eight bucks. It is, it is. But the, the, you know, people leave, man. There's people that sell what seven, eight hundred dollars worth of yep. stuff sometimes. So there's some big lots, stuff out there. There's a lots, lots of stuff going in and out here. There's lots cool of stuff. Die cut machines. I see Misty's out there. Yep. I see uh, tons of stamps and dies. You could buy a gently used Misty for thirty dollars. Yeah, yeah. They're just out there, man. It's it's crazy stuff. Uh, I, the crickets were out there. Yep, there's the electronic machines out here. There's there's stuff that you don't think you see. There's retired stamps and dies that are here that people look for. You know, certain company has they retired like house mouse is one company. Some old house mouse stamps people just come and get those. Um, this old stamping up set, set that they sell. I think it sells on eBay for like a lot and. Some people buy them here. Some old lawn funds retire. Old MFT stuff is retired. There's a lot of stuff here. Yep. All kind of stuff. Yep. Nancy Rossi, book your book your plane ticket with an empty suitcase. You can do it. Fly on out. She says, I wish I was local. I'd shop. And then Laura Hood says, I would li love to see Kathy do one of her box techniques at some time. Yeah, I could talk to Kathy. Um, she is super talented. No, oh, don't. She's no, gonna, oh. she's, she's, Kathy gets that big head going. Yes, can't, I, could, can't say that. I could see what she's going to be doing. What is she up to? Yes. She may be watching you for all you know. Right, right. She could be out there. So, All right. So we, we learned some techniques today. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Oh, by the way, let's. Uh, what do you guys like? Since we're out here just chewing the fat, and I still I, I don't know why you guys are still hanging out. That's cool. Normally everyone learns a technique, and then I watch all, right, all so everyone So who leave. says that's Facebook, Facebook user I'm here? Is that Kathy? Oh, I'm here. Or is that somebody else? That is Kathy. She I is told you she's watching. I am here. Oh, Kathy. Kathy's here. So, wow. All right. Is there some requests for you to do some cool fix stuff? Yeah, Kathy. The, the fan. The, and the box. The, the two, box stuff that you used to do. Yeah, the two fans are asking. They're your two fan base. Uh, also, a question for you guys. I... I I don't know how Ooh, to ask Ooh, magic this mushroom techniques. Well, you do magic mushrooms. Yeah. So the question I'm trying to ask you is, uh, what do you guys like to see when you're shopping? Every, everyone shops different. Do you like to see free shipping? Do you like discount? Or do you like the discounts? Discount? Do you like the buy three, one free kind of thing? Do you like, uh, you know, I know like adhesives is always a big thing where everyone likes to stock up, especially at our shows and stuff. We could do an adhesive type ship sale. Uh, online if that's something that's interesting to people but again i i don't know what to do and i just don't i just don't want to throw stuff out there but uh i just like to know it was it seemed like it was, a, lot, a lot of people like free shipping so just uh let us know in the techniques what you'd like to i would like to see a magic mushroom technique by carol <laughs> okay who's that I don't that was laura hood okay so i i have i have a set I, i'll play with it I don't do, I haven't used a lot because we've been really busy um, in June. Yeah, it's still in yep. June. Oh my God, it's so, still June. So I got Carrie Kelly saying I'm looking to your store, so I'd rather see the uh, discount instead of free shipping. Okay. So I got discounts. Appreciate the discount. The discount. All, All the, the above. above. Yes. You can call an adhesive sale in a sticky situation sale. Yes. <laughs> we could do something like that. Like free shipping. Yep. I, I, I've noticed a lot of people like free shipping. Sure, sure. Then we can always bounce it around a little, so. Yeah. There's stuff we can do. Yep. We could do that. We could always throw out a couple. We could always throw it out, too, where we do two What sales. about, how, we got another, or no, we have it. another idea. Remember the make and idea? Oh, yeah. Talk about that. Okay, so here, let me bounce this off you. Let me bounce this off you. So I was thinking about doing this, but I don't want to do it because it's a lot of work, unless you guys really want it out here. So here's my question. What if. We did, like with every purchase, you get a make and take. It's unassembled. And then we do a night that we all just gather and we do a make and take on, on, on the evening somewhere. Like at the end of the month. Yeah. like No, it has to be like, no, actually it has to be in the beginning of the month for the previous month. Right. Because if they order something in July 30, 31st, they won't get it until... Well, it would just be like the next make and take. Right. So there would be a cutoff point. We'd have a cutoff point, and then if you got your order in before that time, you'd get the make and take, and then you'd be able to do it. And then if you didn't, you'd have to wait for the next one. 
So mm -hmm. I saw a uh, uh, mystery boxes is coming back, Lee. I am actually on my to do list for today for this week. So we are working on um, more mystery boxes, more crafty mystery boxes. Discount on vendor of the week or month. Okay, that's a good idea. Yeah, no, we could do that. That would Even be Lynn Mann. the garage Lin sale sign up for. Uh, Carrie, Carrie Ellen Kelly. No, we still got a few spots left, so come on in. Laura Hood's intimidated by shrimps. Shrimp mushrooms. But it's really Magic shrooms. Mushroom. But it's shroom. really the shrooms. So, but I just like, <laughs> don't you love spell check? I love it. So. Shroom. I'm in for the make and take idea, Laura Hood says. Uh, when man saying, I need a mystery box. I need to try a mystery box. Those are awesome. I'll guarantee it. It's it's one of it's one of those. It's like uh, there's a little of new, a little of old, a little of everything in there. Yep. So and it's uh it's it's pretty cool. But again, there's nothing old in our store. I'm not trying to brag, but we just kind of go through stuff with our shows and, and, and doing things that we don't really have old products here. Uh, so. Debbie, plasmat are not back in stock yet. It will, hopefully, we'll get it next week. Love yeah. to, so you love to make it and take idea. So we're thinking about um, we can't do it in July because July is next week. I have to come up with a, a project and then we have to prep it and then we have to ship it. Right. So you're probably gonna start in August. Right. We'll probably start it in August. Uh, yeah. I do, again, we're just trying to get some feelers out. Yep. We're trying to get feelers out. So I don't know if that's a good idea. So if we make a purchase online, we add a make and take in there for you, and then we'll do the make and take with you later on, like the next, the beginning of the following month. Yep. I, I agree with uh, Shaw Pack on YouTube there. She's saying magic mushrooms sound like drugs from the 60s and <laughs> 70s. And they always do. But you do. You do get high when you get a beautiful looking card done because you just get those endorphins going. Yep. So. It's really cool stuff. So, yeah, Carol can definitely do that. Maybe next week. So, is that agreed? Let's put it on my list for next week. Next week. So, yep. magic mushrooms next week. Come on, man. Bring your bag of shrooms. Let's go. We're going to get this party started next week. I'll cross my fingers that you'll still have sport spots open on Friday at 430 when I can come in. That's Carrie Kelly. We Yeah, we, we, we should be good. I'm not too worried about it. Yes. Uh, Carol Parker saying percentage off, then get free shipping when you hit a certain amount. Right. Because so. usually it's seventy five. It's free shipping already. If you hit a, you know, a couple of dies and a couple of stands, it's seventy five dollars. Right. Right. So we're already at seventy five free shipping. So, uh, which everyone kind of knows that already. So we're just looking to do the ways to make project using the building flakes without making a mess. Yes, it's messy. We shop for sale before we on stuff. In. Right. I've shopped for sale before, not putting. Yep, 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 yep. All right. Well, it's about 6.44, so we're. Before prime time kicks in. Right. So tonight on TV, I got to get you guys off because on happy days tonight, Fonzie's sharp, uh, jumping the shark tank. So I know you guys are all excited to see that. There's big news out there. So. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, you didn't know that? Oh, yeah. You ever watch Happy Days? No. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> I watched that's, like that's how I mess with it. I watched like a little bit, like ten minutes here, and then it's gone. You know, it doesn't like I never watched with, watch. with Harry Winkler. Yeah. You know, one o'clock, two o'clock, yeah, three yeah. o'clock. That's rock. it. Go split Four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, rock. Seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, rock. We're gonna rock oh around the clock tonight. You guys know that song, right? Yeah, yeah, the Fonz. Yeah, we got yeah. it coming in. See. There we go. So uh, you're also, an old soul, Brian. Yeah, I feel like an old soul sometimes, but it's it's always the best. And it's really sad is can't remember an algebra equation to save my life, but I sure remember Fonz jumping that 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 shark tank. There. Vintage was, drop. Somebody has a, a, a demo using vintage drops. Oh yeah, yeah, we, that would be. Stop right. writing this stuff down. Okay. Well, I I'll take notes and draw. Okay. So that's it. Yeah, Joni loves Chachi. The spin off there. Wasn't too much into that one though, but, but I was in the Laverne and Shirley. That was another spinoff, Laverne and Shirley. Chanel, Chanel, something in Incorporated. Do, oh do, 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 do. We're gonna make it. No, it's okay. <laughs> she always cracks up. 
All right. All right, we're out of here, guys. Guys, it's been a real honor. It's been great to come back on Wednesday nights, and it's even better that you guys are all hanging out with us, having a couple laughs and stuff. So uh, uh, everyone else, uh, just uh, kick back, relax. Uh, it was great to see you. We'll be back next Wednesday. I'm going to make sure I post something right away so then you guys can uh, save that uh, event. Make sure if you're interested, click on it right away so you don't forget and it'll remind you. I'll have that out later tonight. And uh, we'll be back. Guys, if you got any other questions that you want to see here, I'll be writing notes off these. So, Or, uh, again, just don't be afraid to post something on the Craft Fancy page or the One yep. Kind group. We're going to be back every Wednesday. If you're another vendor that's just watching, like Ken Oliver, Ken, guys, it's all open, man. Don't don't be bashful getting into the one Just make sure nobody's group. doing it at the same time. The only thing we always <laughs> ask is just check with us. Right. Make sure that it's not a conflict so we don't have competing people going on. So, But if not, uh, yeah, one of a kind group. Thank you for tuning in tonight, everyone there. Craft Fancy as well. Thank you for tuning in on the Craft Fancy. And, of course, on the one of a kind shows on YouTube. Very much appreciate it. Guys. Uh, if, oh, also, too, one of a kind moment here. Uh, if you guys check it out, the videos are all up on there. Be sure to check it out. Don't don't be afraid. Click that subscribe button on there as well. So that will help you guys out know when that's on there. All right, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Appreciate everything. I'm Brian. I'm Carol. And Tina's hiding out somewhere. So, guys, everyone, thank you so much. Have a great night. And uh, we'll be sure you. to stay tuned because we'll have something up. This weekend, we'll do for something the, for the July 4th weekend. I'm not, we don't know yet. We'll, we'll freak out something. It'll be something, though. We'll make sure we make any announcement. Yep. All right, guys. Catch you later. Bye. Bye.